There isn't a single person on this planet who can deny that Tesla Powerwall 2 was a massive success. Like everything Elon Musk lays his Midas touch on, the Powerwall 2 was extremely successful and lucrative. So it comes as no surprise to everybody that the anticipation for Powerwall 3 is nothing short of insane. If you, like thousands of other people, are anxiously waiting for the Powerwall 3 to step in so you can get your hands on it, well, then you'll want to watch this video till the end to find out everything you need to know about the upcoming Tesla Powerwall 3, its release date, features, and cost. And if you're still trying to make up your mind, well, then we guarantee that you won't be on the horns of a dilemma at the end of this video. Now let's dive right in. First, let's talk about how much the Tesla Powerwall costs in 2021. Inclusive of gateway and installation, you can expect to shell out roughly $12,000 for one of these. Even though Tesla announced in September 2020 that we should expect to see a decrease in the price of the Powerwall, the reverse has been the case, as the price has climbed higher to reach the current price of $12,000. Fortunately, some areas have incentives in place that will help cover a portion of the installation price. Now, say you have made up your mind to get a Powerwall. Now you want to know how soon you can get your hands on one. Well, you may want to tamp down on your impatience. This is because the demand for Powerwalls is so high that production can't keep up with the orders. So exactly how long do you have to wait? Some people reported that they had to wait as long as a year before they could get one. So if you're still on the fence about whether or not to get a Powerwall, then take this as the sign you've been waiting for so you can start moving up the waitlist. Now let's see how the Powerwall measures up against other available batteries, specifically the LG Chem and Sonnen Core. The Powerwall has a usable energy capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours, while the LG Chem has 9.3 kilowatt hours, and the Sonnen Core has 10 kilowatt hours. The Powerwall clearly comes out on top here. In terms of power rating, the Powerwall has 5 kilowatts continuous and a 7 peak. The LG Chem also has a 5.0 continuous and a 7.0 peak, while Sonicare has a 4.8 kilowatt and an 8.6 kilowatt peak. The Powerwall comes with 10 years or 37.8 milliwatt hours throughout warranty. The LG Chem comes with a 10 years or 22.4 milliwatt hours throughout warranty, while the Sonicare has a 10 years or 58 milliwatt hours throughout warranty. Which of these three brands do you think is the best? Let us know in the comments below. Tesla Powerwall 3 Release Date Right now, we aren't exactly sure the exact date when the Powerwall 3 will drop, because Tesla hasn't made any official announcement regarding the release date. But we did a little math to try to estimate when to expect it. Development of the Powerwall 1 began in 2012, and it was announced in 2015 with a pilot demonstration of 500 units which was, needless to say, highly successful. Then, in October 2016, the Powerwall 2 was announced at Universal Studio, but it is a bit unclear when exactly the development started. Production of lithium-ion batteries for the Powerwall 2 began in January 2017, and by early June of the same year, the first installations began. With this data, it's safe for us to assume that there should be an announcement about the Powerwall 3 before the end of 2021 so we only have a few months to go. Tesla Powerwall 3 Specifications and Features Before we talk about Powerwall 3 specs, let's take a minute to talk about Power 1 and 2 specs, just so you know how much better Powerwall 3 is going to be. The Powerwall 1 was 1,302 mm long, 862 mm wide, and had a diameter of 183 cm. It had 7 kilowatt hours battery with an impressive 6.4 kilowatt hours usable capacity. Its peak power was 7 kilowatts. Its continuous power was 5 kilowatts, and it had scalability of up to 10 power walls. It featured a liquid thermal control and has a 92.5% round trip DC efficiency at optimal conditions. This impressive device weighed 97 kilograms and came with a 10-year unlimited cycle warranty, which means you're getting your money's worth. The Powerwall 2, on the other hand, was 1,150 mm long, 755 mm wide, and had a diameter of 155 mm, which means that it was smaller in size compared to the Powerwall 1. This difference in size doesn't mean it weighed less, however. It was the other way around, in fact, as the Powerwall 2 weighed approximately 120 kg. It had a 14 kWh battery, 
with 13.5 kilowatt usable capacity. Its peak power was 7 kilowatts, had a continuous power of 5 kilowatts, and had scalability of up to 10 AC coupled Powerwall 2s. It had a liquid cooling feature, had a round trip efficiency that was greater than 90%, and came with a 10 year manufacturer's warranty, after which it should hold about 70% of the 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity after 10 years, which is nothing short of impressive. Now, let's talk about the specifications of the Powerwall 3. Keep in mind that Tesla hasn't officially announced the Powerwall 3, but we expect the specifications should be in line with our conjecture. Before we go into it, what features do you think it will have? Let us know in the comments below. The Powerwall 3 should be heavily optimized and integrated with Tesla electric car models, have upgraded intelligent energy management, and come with an inbuilt hybrid inverter. We expect a battery of 28 kilowatt hours with a usable capacity of about 26 kilowatt hours. And we expect that they'll stick with lithium ion batteries because it is quite affordable. On the other hand, we believe that Tesla may decide to stick to the 14 kilowatt hour batteries because that's sufficient power for most households. Also, the 14 kilowatt hour batteries are smaller in size and also easier to install than the 28 kilowatt hour batteries would be. Furthermore, the Powerwall 3 will be compatible with both single and three phase power, and the DC version will include an inbuilt inverter. Powerwall 3 Price There wasn't a world of difference between the prices of the Powerwall 1 and 2. Of course, there was a difference, but it was just a few thousand dollars difference. Nothing too crazy. The difference is mostly due to the upgraded functions that come with the Powerwall 2. So it's not like you're being ripped off. So now, let's take a look at the prices of Powerwall 1 and 2 and see our estimated cost for the Powerwall 3 right after. Australian installation of the Powerwall 1 cost about $10,000 for a 7 kilowatt hour battery. The price covers installation costs and supporting hardware. The Australian installation of the Powerwall 2 costs between $12,000 and $15,000 for a 14 kilowatt hour battery. Again, this amount is inclusive of installation charges and supporting hardware. Keeping this in mind, we estimate that the Powerwall 3 will cost somewhere in the vicinity of $15,000 to $20,000, including installation. Again, this is just a rough but close estimation, and the actual price shouldn't go beyond a few hundred dollars higher or lower. Trust us on this one. And that's it. All the information you need to know before others about the upcoming Tesla Powerwall 3. So what do you think about the Powerwall 3? How excited are you for the release? How do you think it will measure up compared to Powerwall 1 and 2? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and turn on notifications so that you can keep up with our latest updates. See you next time!